Yung Dator Hingin. Special things for this type of the new version. So your new is much superior compared to the commodity price drop. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we will be discussing about um, exact equations. And we will just write the topic here, exact equations. Okay, so we will now be uh, discussing another me method of solving uh, linear differential equations of order 1 in which those equations fall on the group which is considered to be as an exact equation so again we will write here our uh, the general formula for the equations of um, linear one uh, linear, linear of uh, differential equations of order one okay so this is the ideal um, equations for that so with this uh, equation we could easily uh, use uh, separation of variables but it, but this is the ideal but of course we know that there is also a a the most common is that our um, coefficient of dx now we will call this as m is a function of both x and y meaning the function here contains x and y variables and n for the dy is also a function of x and y so therefore we could not readily use um, separation of variables so therefore uh, we will be using on our previous video we have uh, tackled the uh, equations with homogeneous coefficients so we use the method of getting the solution for that type of equations now we will consider another type which is an exact equation so for example, if we are going to get the um, the differential equation of this one, for example, we will be uh, getting the derivative of this one. So you could see that df. So this is our um, function. This one. So maybe we could write this one as equal equal to f. So we will end up with m dx plus n dy. Of course, that is implicitly. So we consider both x and y as part of as the as the independent variable of our derivative. Then, if we are going to differentiate both sides, so we'll end up with f is equals to m, which is a function of x, plus n, which is a function of y. So that that is how it's going to be, and we could and we could say that f x of y so function of x and y this one is equal to a constant okay now going back to this one if you are going to get the derivative of this one also now the, the derivative sorry for that so if you're going to get the derivative of this one then we could say also that df is equal to zero because the derivative of a constant is zero so that's why from this here we could say that m dx plus n dy is equal to zero and this is now the general form of our exact differential equation okay so that is the general form now the question is how to know or how to test if our given differential equation is exact or not so in the previous video the homogeneous we have the test on uh, getting the uh, of uh, in order for us to determine if the given equation is a homogeneous equation or not now we will have also the same type of test okay so if we're going back to this one if for example so maybe we just put this one in this part okay yellow 
For example, if we are going to get the partial derivative of m in terms of y, because on this part, this is x. So remember that our m is in terms of x and y. So we are going to get a partial derivative of our m in terms of y. So this one will be equal to the partial derivative of n in terms of x. So if this condition is met, therefore our given differential equation is exact. Okay. So that is the condition that we are going to or that is the test that we are going to prove if the given differential equation is exact or not. In case if this two, this condition is not met, then maybe the differential equation can be solved in another way. The differential, given differential equation could not be solved using the uh, methods of solving if the differential equation is an exact differential equation. Okay. Now, the the, this type of equation, so we will now go to the solving for the for the general equation. Okay. So that is about the general solution. So the steps. So the steps is usually convert sum. So maybe the steps. If you will find this one, the steps will be um, much more at trickier compared to the homogeneous uh, equation and much uh, much harder compared to the separation of variables so first we need to test okay so that is the partial derivative of m in terms of y is equal to the partial derivative of n in terms of x okay so if after the test it is proven that it is a differential equation then we will select so select either n oh no no either m or n as partial derivative of f in terms of x this is for m or partial derivative of f in terms of y this is for n so meaning if you are, if you are going to select m the coefficient of dx then you are going to get the partial derivative of m in terms of x if you're going to choose n you get the partial derivative of f in terms of y okay then next after get, getting this the that one so we are going to integrate so integrate the selected so in terms of x or in terms of y so we are going to integrate the selected uh, partial derivative of f in terms of x or partial derivative of uh, f in terms of y so we are going to um, integrate what we have chosen on 2 okay so from that we will have a result of so the result for this one will be a function of x and y so maybe we will have that one as ex so this will just be the representation the bxy then we will have plus ty if this is if we have chosen for this one is the chosen partial derivative of x over y or it could have the same but that will be t of x if this is partial derivative of f in terms of x okay so again we have two choices for that one okay then we will go on on solving okay so i believe this is so i made a um 
I made a certain um, this will be in terms of x and this will be in terms of y okay so that is because we are uh, solving in terms of x and y so the this is the supposed to be arbitrary constant of this um, partial derivatives okay so I just made a um, the, uh, switching for that okay then from this one we, we will go back to whatever uh, coefficient that we did not choose okay so we will go back to that coefficient okay so we are going to go back to that coefficient so for example this one so for example if you we choose m then we will e uh, equate uh, m to the certain function here so uh, so we are for example we choose uh, the partial derivative of x uh, function f in terms of x so we are going if this is m so we are going to equate that one to n okay and from this one we could now solve for so this is not m but n okay Okay, then this one also uh, y which is in terms of n so we will be so from that one we could now solve for the value of our tx or the value of our ty and the last part will be so the fifth part will be substituting ty or tx on the equation on step 3 okay so that is the total flow of solving the general solution of an exact differential equation okay so we have um, exactly five um, five steps so including in this in these steps are also the algebraic manipulation that we are going to do okay so basically this is the five general steps okay now we will be solving some example okay so some example of this um, new page here so we just write here the equation so we have 3x x y minus 2 dx plus x cube plus 2y dy is equal to 0 okay so we have this um, given differential equation of order 1 which we are going to solve for the solution the general solution so first we will be testing if this is an exact differential equation. So first, we will get which is our m and our n. So basically, by inspection, our m is equal to 3x xy minus 2. So this is, the n is the coefficient of dx that is established already in our previous videos. And the n is x cubed plus 2y. Of course, we just uh, make some um, algebraic manipulation here. So this will be equal to um, 3x squared y minus, minus 6x, I believe. Okay. Okay, 6x. Okay. Next, we will get the test so this is not the test so we have partial derivative of m in terms of y so our x here will be constant so we will have 3x squared uh, minus um, 6x Okay, so this is not 6x, I believe. So, our 
um, function is y so our 6 x here has no y so therefore it is considered constant so this will just be equal to 0 okay next I will go to partial derivative of n in terms of x so this one so that will be 3x squared so the derivative of 2y because we are in terms of x so 2y is that is considered as constant so therefore this is just zero so our partial derivative of n in terms of y is equal to the partial derivative of n in terms of x therefore the equation is exact okay so we will now proceed to step two okay so for step two we just select which of these we are going to use for uh, partial derivative of f in terms of um, x okay so we will just select first our m okay so the partial derivative of f in terms of x is equal to m which is equal to 3x squared y minus 6x so we differentiate uh, this one okay so if we are going to the differentiate this is um, also um, partial integration so we will have our f is equal to x cubed um, y minus so this is x squared so over 2 this is 3x plus so because we are using dx here so our arbitrary constant will be in terms of y okay so we could say this one as our so this could be our equation one so you can put this one here i believe we don't have any space so we just have this one as equation one okay now we will go to um from this one here we will be also differentiating this one so we have partial derivative of f now this will be in terms of y okay in terms of y so because we are going because our beta constant now is y so we have we need to get the partial derivative of this one so this will be equal to x cubed so this is one here this is zero plus so we have y here that will be t t prime y okay so t prime y then we will now equate this one so by equation 2 so equate 2 to n okay because our n is in terms of dy okay so we can now have this one as x cubed plus t prime y is equal to x cubed plus 2y so solving for t prime y okay so we have t prime y we transpose this x cubed to the other side of the equation so that will be x cubed minus x cubed plus 2y okay so this would be equal to 0 so our t prime y is just equal to 2 y okay we'll add another page okay so our t prime y is equal to to y so integrating so that we could solve for um t y so we have t y so t as a function of y is equal to the integration of this one is of course there, there is a dy here so that is um um, explicit because this is um, the derivative okay so this will be 2y squared over 2 cancelled out so our ty is equal to y squared then we will just substitute substitute to 1 so we could now have um, our 1 so we just go back to that so we have our one is x cubed y minus 3x plus dy 
Okay, so that is be x cube y minus 3 x squared plus t y that will be plus y squared. And this is now f. As established, f is a constant, so therefore it is equal to 0, so or equal to z, so we c, so we could say that c is equal to x cubed, so we just have here the assumption f is equal to constant, so we could now have here a c is equal to x cubed y minus 3x squared plus y squared. And this is now our answer, okay? So let's have another example for um, for exact equation. So maybe another example, one more example. Okay, so we have x plus y. Okay. The x plus x minus y dy is equal to zero. Okay. So first, we are going to test. So we have our solution. So test. So we have our m as x plus y and our n as x minus y. So partial derivative of m in terms of uh, y. So we will have x. Uh, no, this is our x is constant, so our this is zero. So this, the derivative of a variable or a y is equal to one, so this is one. So n also now is in terms of x. Okay, so this is this will be zero, so this will be one. So our partial derivative of m in terms of y is equal to the partial derivative of n in terms of x. Therefore, the equation is exact okay next we will now um, choose either we, we have n or m okay so we will be choosing n so the partial derivative of f in terms of y is equal to n which is equal to x minus y okay Then we will just be going to integrate as we have done on our previous example. So we are going to integrate that one in terms of y. So integrating this one in terms of y. So we will end up with f is equal to xy minus y squared over 2. Okay, then we will just have so this will be plus t x okay so this will be our equation one then we will just um derive uh, get the partial derivative of this one in terms of x so we have y so y plus t prime x okay then we are going to this is equation two okay so we could say equate two to n a uh, two to m because we are using n so two is equal to m so we will have y plus t prime x is equal to x plus y so solving for t prime x we will just be transposing this one to the other side of the equation so that will be negative positive so that we get to zero so our t prime x is equal to x so t prime x is equal to x integrating both sides of course there is a dx here so our tx is equal to x squared over 2 then subject uh, substituting this one to the equation so our f equation one so uh, substitute to one okay 
So our equation is F is equal to xy minus y squared over 2 plus x squared over 2. Okay, and f is equal to c. So, we'll have c is equal to xy minus y squared over 2 plus x squared over 2. Divide both sides by 2. So, 2 times c, that is just c. So, we have 2 xy minus y squared plus x squared. We could also rearrange this one as x squared plus 2xy minus y squared which equal to c. And this is now our answer. Okay? So, I, I believe that will be all for this video. Thank you for um, watching this video from the start to the end and I hope you learned something. I, I will be also uh, posting videos, more example on this um, exact differential equation of order 1. So again, thank you for watching this video and as always, enjoy learning.